This week's channel message is a beautiful message from the angels about being true to your own energy. And at the end of the message, they are giving you a gift, uh, which is wonderful. It's a, it's a, a way of accessing a space of total clarity in your own field, where from a space from which you can project only yourself separated from all of the influences around you. Super, super cool. So welcome back to my channel, you guys. If this is your first time here, my name is Ann Tucker. I am a trance channel. I channel from the angelic realm. And like I said, this message is really in tune with the energies that we are in right now, where there's a little bit of a feeling of opening. It's a little lighter at the moment. And I think let's take advantage of it. <laughs> let's notice things are a little easier. And they're talking about this coming partly because of the fact that we are more in tune with our own beings, that we are more, uh, more open about who we are. So I hope you enjoy the message. So today's message is um, it's really interesting. Like I said, it is about uh, like the, I feel like there is this opening. There's spaciousness that we have right now. There is at the end of this message, the angels are coming in with a gift for you. So be prepared for that. So I know it's going to be in the frequency. It came through as I was channeling. So be open to that. So as we move through the, the messages in the very last section, there'll be a place where the angels are going to come in and actually give you something. So we won't be in meditation. So all I ask is that when that happens to just be present, to be very present in your own mind, to try to be centered as you listen to that last paragraph. All right. Ready, guys? Here we go. All right. We are patterning our opening on the fragrance of this day. We feel there are things that must be spoken into being, essences of yourselves. There is a transporting wind of fragrance that emanates from you now, that is willing to open all things, that has within it the keys to your suggestion, the essence of what you want, a new beginning, a second chance, a second opening. What is it that you pray for? What is on your heart? So, and I feel like this is, uh, so this is the opening. They're telling us a little bit about what's coming that, right, like I was saying, like right now there's a slightly different energy and the energy they're talking about here is this sense of, of possibility of opening that there is like less stuff in our way and that we are starting to come to more to terms with who we are and what we want. And that's opening things for us. And I, I was thinking about this and they'll go into it in the message, but I was thinking about this in the world right now, that there are so many more movements. There's so much junk coming up. Like think about all the different in terms of the Me Too movement, the Black Lives, Black Lives Matter movement. There have been so many places um, uh, in, in terms of the freedoms around sexuality and uh, and people being able to define their sexuality the way that they want to, that there's so much opening about how we are going to present ourselves in the world. And I think this is creating a freedom. So, and I think it's that, if you think about that, as we go through the message, I think it's helpful to understand and has a frame of reference. So you're saying good morning. So great to see you guys. Thanks so much for joining in. You'd be less stuff in a way. I know, totally. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. So, and, and they refer to, I think it's also interesting that they refer to, like they say, a transporting wind of fragrance that emanates from you now. And I really like, they use that word fragrance a lot when they're talking about our energy. And I think that's because it's very subtle, that it's the kind of thing that you're aware of, like, like a scent, you're aware of a scent, even though it, it's not necessarily embodied, it comes in with such an impression. If you smell something that triggers a memory from childhood, think how much emotion is carried in that that I think that that's why they use fragrance, this idea that you as a as a being, that your energy moves out like a fragrance and other people are aware of you. It sort of moves into their awareness. They might not even be aware what they're feeling, but they're feeling you. And it's just like the same way that you can smell, you walk by a restaurant and the smell comes out. And you're like, oh, you know, what was that? That's what people think about you. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> All right. So they go on to say, Oh, and you're saying scent is our longest lasting sense. Ooh, I didn't know that. That is so cool. I love that. All right. They go on and say, uh, next paragraph. There are elements of life that disturb you now, that are lingering in your mind, that leave a mark. Left to all and in between, these would govern your art of creation. They would weave their way in between the moments of suggestion and left to those devices, you would be torn apart from your reality left to dwindle in the essence of what is left when all your work subsides. 
And so, so it's really easy for us to lose that sense of who we are in that fragrance, the potency of what our own individual magic is and to get torn apart by all these things, right? The, the fears and the worries that are in our minds. And then that then alters what it is we're putting out into the world, right? And tears it apart, tears it apart from our realities. So they're saying it's not real. It takes it apart from the reality of what we actually are, right? And then it lets us dwindle. We, we Our energy fades if we let that happen. So, um, and they, it governs our art of creation, right? So it really, the negative thoughts, they work their way in and it messes with what it is we are putting out into the world. Next paragraph, we wish you now to bring your thoughts more centered to the wisdom of the earth, to what you are, to your heaven sent guidance and to stir within you, ignite at your core a feeling that you are willing to be open, willing to ignite the heaven's gate you occupy to say within the self that you commute all justice and leave yourself no jury and let yourself live and be awakened to the dawning of new opportunity as it breaks through your entrance. We are wishing for you now this opening of self to occupy your heart within you, to let yourself feel the scant vibration of what is new. So this is, I think just what I was saying, it's that idea that there is this new energy. There's just this, it's, it's an opening where we can be more full of ourselves as we are interacting with the world. And I love how they say here um, that the willing to ignite the heaven's gate you occupy. So think of yourself as a gate, that you are heaven's gate, right? That your chakra system opens you, right, to source and to source light, to source energy, that you are a gateway to bring that energy onto the earth, that you are God on earth, right? You are that embodiment of that essence, of that aspect of God on earth. And, and so to think of that is that you are the bridge between earth and the heavens. And then they say that, that within that self, you, that you commute all justice. So to commute angel word of the day means reducing a uh, punishment for a crime. So this is about letting go of your karma. So commute all justice. So what is it that you thought you had to pay for in this life that you can let let yourself off, right? That you can commute that justice and leave yourself no jury. So in other words, not stop judging yourself. So stop, stop judging all the ways we hold ourselves back because we think we're not deserving or we think we're not enough, right? Or we think we're not ready. That's a big one. A lot of people, I'm not ready for that, right? Or I don't know. I don't know how. I'm, I'm, I'm not... I'm not this or that, right? All of this and the ways in which we judge ourselves. So, so letting go your, your jury let, and commuting the sentence you put on yourself before you got here saying, I have to make up for all these past things that I've done wrong, right? Let them, letting them go. And uh, yeah, and to be awakened to the dawning of new opportunity as it breaks through your entrance. So this is, this is like coming through. It's more that you're open, the more this is crashing through. And it's a sense of being willing to put more of yourself more authentic to who you really are out there. And I gotta tell you, this is a lesson for me too, that I notice as I am in the world, there are places and it shows up in my dreams. Like I had this happen in a dream the other day where in the dream, I'm in a lobby, which is about birth. And then there's a, uh, I'm outside a bank and a bank is about the heart because it's about circulation of money. And you guys know, I love dream work. I follow Michael Sheridan's work and that has informed a ton of my process. Um, and I've introduced you guys to him many times and will continue to do so. But the um, uh, in the dream, there are uh, I've got flip flops on and flip flops are about like, like, hey, I'm kind of being wishy washy. Right. I'm flip flopping. And this is about me and my identity. And then there's a half flight of steps going up and I'm getting up to go because the bank manager comes out. It's time for me to go or go in or something. I get up and I'm getting ready to walk up the steps. And then a bunch of people come and they lay down on the steps in front of me. And the people would, so in a dream, laying down is the worst, sitting is better, standing up is the best in terms of your level of awareness. So the, and your level of awakening. So the people in the dream who are laying down in my dream are asleep. And then in the dream, I tiptoe around these people. So the dream is telling me that from my birth, I picked up conditioning that I learned to tiptoe around people who are asleep. Which is why, you guys, I feel so free to be myself here in this group where you guys have all chosen to come and be with me because you guys are all on the path. You're like my peeps. <laughs> but out in the world, like what happens when you meet that person who, who, has, who has, you know, no idea about all the stuff you're into and doesn't follow any of it and poo-poos it all, right? Do you tiptoe around them? 
And apparently that's what I've been doing. So this is something I am working on too. So this message is as much for me as it is for all of us. So I am feeling these energies and I hope you guys are too. So who are you tiptoeing around? Like, is this happening to you? Is there anyone where anywhere where you feel like you haven't been fully authentic and just been like, yeah, I channel angels. This is what I do, <laughs> right? Like, can you be loud and proud with your own stuff? And you're saying, um, are we ready to sound the horns then? Yes, yes, yes. Yeehaw. He said, wow, tiptoeing your way around those who are asleep. That is so important for me to hear today. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that with me. Yeah, because I think, I, you know, I think I'm not the only one, but boy, I know it's true for me and I'm not going to do it anymore. So, and that's a statement. Now you guys have to hold me to it. <laughs> Let your freak flag fly. Thank you very much. Yep. Yep. I'm doing it. And you know, I've done a lot. Like I've I'm out on YouTube now, and you guys know that. And those of you who are watching on YouTube, you know it's hard to get more public than this. But at the same time, YouTube self-selects, right? The algorithm is going to find people, mostly, who are into the same thing as me. It's another world when you're just out in the regular old world meeting regular old people who have who have, who have have really only bumped into you and have no other connection. And with them, can you come out and say, yeah, this is who I am? So that's I think that's the test. All right. So next paragraph. Um, and I do, by the way, last thing here to let you feel the scant vibration of what is new. I wanted to call attention to that because they're saying on one point, they're saying it's crashing through the door, but it is a scant vibration. So yes, it's coming, but we have to be attuned and listening. We have to be aware. All right. Next paragraph. Uh, there is a sense now of greater freedom, of living more openly. There is the essence of life within you that you are aching to break free. And now is opportunity. There's a sense in all things that no encounters are written, that you can define your life. And this is coming. And we say, breathe easy. Take each step, the next toward your longevity, knowing your essence precedes you. And take this as encouragement to continue breathing, to continue feeling the opening. So it's that same idea of your fragrance moving out in front of you, right? That it precedes you, that who you are moves out before you. And this helps to create your reality and draw to you. So if I am walking around with the conditioning that I have to tiptoe around people who are not awakened, that's exactly what I'm going to bring into my reality. So by shifting that, right, then I can breathe more easy and I can have faith that what I'm pushing out into the world is what's going to precede me. Yeah, beautiful. All right, next paragraph. The efforting now departs you. Let it fly. Be easy. Be easy in yourself. Feel within your own heart the pattern of what you are seeking. Feel this to bring you to a space of possibility. There is no formation on this earth that would deprive you of what you are seeking. There's only your own energy, the essence of what you are. So that is, they couldn't say it more clearly. That is that idea is that we are in our own way, right? The only thing blocking us is ourselves. And they they said it so clearly here and beautifully. And know that that doesn't mean that there aren't, you know, people who might create difficulty in your life, but they're saying there's nothing structured in the way the world is built that would prevent us from being and who having and doing exactly what we want to. All right, next paragraph. What you are seeking is within you. Therefore, fear nothing. Fear not what is coming, the energy of the awakening, the surprise ending, the disfigured living, the essence of what is next. Fear nothing. Fear only, feel only what is within you, your own essence. Sense your own central focus and live deeply. Plunge the depths of your own mind, your own heart speaking, and feel us there whispering, wishing to help you. So in here, they're really speaking to the, the all the stuff we've heard about, about the awakening and what's coming. And they're saying, don't let it bug you. Just like, let it go. Like, be aware of it. Don't worry about it. They said the surprise ending, the possibility that your life is going to change. That's what they mean by the disfigured living, like the, the life you imagined. Maybe it's changed, right? The energy of the awakening. They're saying, fear nothing. Uh, feel only what is within you and your own essence, right? And it's about getting in touch with that central, that central core, of what you are. And they go in here more deeply into how to do that. <clears throat> they say, there is within you a central core of focus, of feeling. You attach to things on occasion which do not serve you, which are worries, which are hatred, which are anger. These deplete you. We say, feel instead where you are working to feel new things. 
So yeah, so that is that, that, that it's, you know, and you guys know, like when we have, and everybody does it, we have those moments where we are brought down or brought lower in our vibration. And they do say that, that those do deplete us. Yeah. So it's about letting go of that and getting back to this central core. So here's how they describe to do it. The essence of what you are will guide you. Not all beings wish for the same things. You may feel yourself adrift in an opening of nothing, but you cannot find your wishing that there is nothing speaking, but we say, listen deeper for there are new things you are wishing. There are things you might be dismissing the relations between persons, the feeling of being needed, of anchoring your light and touching another being. These are things to be wishing upon as well as one might reach for some physical construct. So, so this is that there, I know there are a lot of people out there who don't know what they want. And that seems like, like it's, as I say, it's like, oh, of course, you know what you want. But when you really think about it, do you really know what you want? And this is a really hard thing to define, like, because a lot of times you'll get into it and you'll be, oh, do I really want that? Or what if you get something you thought you wanted and it wasn't what you thought, right? Figuring out what you want is not easy. <laughs> like it should be, like it should be really easy. It's hard to figure out what you want. And I know there's a lot of people that are like, wow, you know, I want to serve or I want, I feel like I'm called to do something, but what? Like, what should I do? And I do know that for me, the answer has always been to go into my heart and say, what sounds fun? Like what speaks to me in terms of just what sounds fun? Where's the joy? So rather than trying to find like in terms of, of like that what, when it feels like pressure, when it feels like I can't figure out what I want, then go into just what sounds fun. And that's a lot easier, I think, to find, to find joy. Find what sounds fun and do that and trust that you'll be led in a direction that's purposeful for you. But here they're really saying, yeah, that it's that, 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 when you are in that space of not knowing that to go into the feelings and to look at things that you might normally dismiss, like places where you feel a lack or suffering around your feelings, where do you feel like, for example, around relationships? Do you want more connection? Okay. That's meaningful. That's purposeful. Go there, go towards connection. What is it that's pulling on your heart is what they're trying to say here. All right. And they say that is just as valid as, or and, and actually more valid than wishing for, you know, a car, a house, all these other things, right? It's to, to wish for a feeling, to wish to feel a certain way, to say, I want to feel connection. Okay, that's awesome. Feel that like, go there, go towards connection. And you're saying, yes, feeling entirely depleted. It takes immense energy to figure out what you want. Surrendering to it all, as you described, to find the joy. Yes, yeah, exactly. Um, all right. They are feelings, feelings of being. What are these you are needing? What do you wish to be feeling? Start here. Your presence is found on earth in the essence of feeling. So live within this and find your start, find your pattern. Speak easy, speak easy to yourself in guidance. Wish for nothing but the having of these feelings and feel within you the possibility stirring. The essence of this, the fabrication is your art. Projecting this into life stirs within you the beginnings. So it's really about conjuring up. Like, what is it you want to be feeling? Begin to sort of nurture that within you somehow, right? Find it within you. And, and I find that if you start looking for a feeling, you can find it. You can find it out there. It's like if you go out looking for someone who's going to reflect back joy, you end up seeing that. So it's about looking for how you want to feel. The next paragraph, they say, we wish now to share an object of exclusivity, a space of yourself, a pattern you are forming in your own energy. And here's where they're coming in now. So be prepared. They're going to be stepping in to offer you something. And I think this is interesting. In the beginning is now an object of exclusivity. I'll explain that at the end. We are an object. So, OK, a pattern you are forming in your own energy, an object we are preparing to gift to you, a sense of yourself, an object in nearness a sense you can admire, a space you can return to, an object for keeping. We place it gently in your hands as you are listening. It is a circle, a circumference, clear with vibrant energy. We, within it, place your thoughts, your wishing, your feelings you are keeping. What would you be creating? Place within this sphere, this longing, let it live within your heart space, an amplification of this meaning. 
So they are here with you now. And so to be aware of this and this exclusivity, this is about excluding everything but yourself. So they're bringing you this gift as a way of finding clarity in your own energy. So it's a sphere, they're saying, it's a circle, it's a sphere, and it's full of vibrant energy. And they're asking to put it in your hands now. So they're with you now. So if you can imagine in your own mind's eye, just see this or feel this, whatever feels best to you, that you are receiving this in your hands, right? So then they say, within it, place your thoughts, your wishing, your feelings, your keeping. What would you be creating? Place within this sphere, this longing. What is it that you want? Let it live within your heart space. So they're asking you to put it, once you have it, put it inside your heart. An amplification of this meaning. So it's going to make it amplified because it's clear, because there's nothing interrupting you, because it's a space of exclusivity of nothing but you. We stand before you now. This gifting we are placing in your hand and offering you may take it. It is space within you, a space of clear objective, space of keeping your own energy pure, uncorrupted left in tranquil supposition. And from here, your creation is more pure, more real. This space, we place this gently in your hand, our offering, please take it. And a supposition is about, a tranquil supposition is about being open, right? It's about being less certain, more free. So, so they're before you now, they're putting this within your hands or asking you to put it inside of your heart and to use this for your own creation. And it allows you to create from a space where it's only your own energy and that it's much more clear. So you can get more in touch with what it is you want without all the noise. Which I think it's amazing, right? All right, last paragraph. They say, access this through your own knowing. Simply think upon it. Place it within your heart for safekeeping. Think upon it. Place your wish for what you are feeling. Leave it there and go on living. Fear nothing. Fear nothing. Right? Isn't that cool, you guys? So yes. So there's frequency in those words. These messages do serve as a portal. The angels can come through. And even though you are not in meditation, you are receiving this gift. And then just imagine, you can just place your hands on your heart, just put it in your heart. And they said, you can access this space and think of it as just a circle inside of you that is pure, that's pure you, that is unaffected by all the junk you have brought in, by all the people around you and their influences, by the energy you might be in. This is a space of pure you. So this allows you to get into that center core that they were talking about at the beginning of the message, where you can move into this space of clarity. And from here, you can think about what you want and create that. Like, how cool is that? So you're saying such beautiful poetry. They do speak amazingly beautifully don't they i love it too yeah me too you guys you're saying thank you Anne and angels you are so welcome you guys and you're saying definitely gonna have to replay this one yeah i know it's super super cool so anyways i hope you guys love this as much as i do i got the message i was like yeah i was doing my little dance <laughs> yay we're not talking about death <laughs> oh gosh you guys so great to have such a beautiful uplifting message <laughs> All right. So I hope you guys have a phenomenal weekend. I am planning to, and I'm sending you all those good vibes and I will see you guys again next Friday live. Bye-bye.